first, let me say happy 420 to all of you. Um, needless to say, it's April 20th, 2019. Um, I started excavating a little bit in the planter to get a new round of cactus going. Um, since Monstro decimated everything I had for the last few years this past fall and uh, took a break to go get some lunch and this is what I come back to 15 minutes later now for those of you who've been following Monstro is a solid hundred pounds now he's nine and a half years old and the ground out here is solid clay he, uh, he did this in about 15 minutes, 20 minutes tops. But we're not just talking about getting through the clay dirt. He's been throwing rocks. He sent this one here about 15 feet. And he's kicked dirt all the way out to here. And that's about... 20 feet away. Now, we had a lot of rain this past winter, so I, I filled in the, the burrow, which prior to me filling it in, it went down 12 feet, bucked up against my neighbor's pool, then he turned left and went about another 12 feet, and it's literally underneath the uh, Oh, look at his shell. Look at him lift that, that out with his shell. That's amazing. I mean, I tried to nick at it with my uh, shovel and the shovel, I, I couldn't make a dent in it. And he just moves it like it's nothing. Look at that guy. Look at the determination in his face. Anyway, again, Monstro is a nine and a half year old, 26 inch, 100 pound Sudanese sulcata. He, um, like I said, this year I filled in the hole because we got a lot of rain and I couldn't take any risks of him staying, you know, being trapped by water, mud, or whatever might happen. We don't have much of a water table here, so, you know, and actually this part of the yard, it's not really an issue for him. And I probably could have just let it be, but again, during the winter, it could drop down to freezing weather, so. No matter how big he is, and no matter how insulated he'd be down there, it's too much risk. Anyway, um, two years ago was the last time I filled in the hole, and back then it took him 12 hours to get down to the eight foot mark. And this is what he did in just about 15, 20 minutes. And that's a good solid foot and a half to two feet after he took everything off of the surface here. It's kind of funny because the last time he dug, I remember this, he likes to come up here to the surface and he digs himself like a little uh, driveway. Oh, it's windy. It looks like we had to get photo bombed by a renegade trash bag. Anyway, 
I gotta head out to work in a little bit here so we're gonna wrap this up and we'll come back tomorrow and see what kind of progress he's made okay feel free to like comment and subscribe have a good day